Today we're bringing you an exclusive first look at Onkyo's latest home cinema amp, the TX-NR818. It's a thousand pounds box of tricks. Okay, so we've wrestled her out of the box. Now it's time to take a look at all the little bits and bobs that you get packaged with it. First thing you'll find is the remote control. Uh, it's pretty much standard issue Onkyo. Um, when you're using it, the, most, the buttons that you'll probably use most are the D-pad, um, complete with the enter button, which will get you around the menus of the amp. Then you've also got a setup button and the home menu button, which will allow you to access all the various features that are on the amp. But if you don't fancy using the remote control, if you happen to own one of these, a smartphone or even a tablet, you can go online and download Onkyo's own remote control app. So next up, we've got the instruction manual. Put this in your computer and you can access the manual digitally or alternatively, you can always go online and simply download it. Okay, so besides the actual amp itself, probably the most important thing you get in the box is Onkyo's setup mic. Um, it connects to the front of the machine via the 3.5mm jack, and you basically put the microphone in different listening positions in your room where the Onkyo can then set up the best uh, speaker distances, levels, um, and sizes which are applicable to your room and your speaker package. As you can see, the Onkyo looks pretty impressive in this silver finish. It's also available in black. Um, the front is pretty minimalist. Um, down here, you've got all the different input selector buttons just below this large uh, display and volume control. You've got a power button here and a pure audio button. Basically, it switches off all the necessary processing. So when you say listening to music or watching a movie, um, it turns off anything that it doesn't need and it results in a slightly cleaner, purer sound. And if you're wondering where all the other buttons are, they're actually behind this drop-down panel on the front. So here you've got a D-pad again for controlling the menus on the Onkyo. Uh, you've got a USB socket here, which can be used to connect an iPod straight up. You've also got a HDMI socket here, an additional one. There are eight in total, but there's one on the front. Um, audio inputs for connecting external kit. Uh, and here's the mic setup jack that I was talking about. This is where you plug in the setup mic and the Onkyo takes all the speaker settings. So around the back um, we've got the rest of the HDMI sockets. There are seven inputs in total. We've also got twin HDMI outputs which allows you to hook up to two display devices. Say you might have a projector for watching movies and a TV for watching daytime TV. At the bottom you've got all the speaker terminals to hook up your seven channel surround sound system. There's an Ethernet port to get your Onkyo online and access all the online content like Spotify, Last.fm uh, and also take advantage of the DLNA certification so you can stream music off a PC. Um, it, this Onkyo accepts FLAC, WAV files, Apple lossless and uh, Windows lossless files. And there's also a USB socket here. This uh, is purely for connecting the wireless dongle that Onkyo can give as an option. Um, so you can get online wirelessly. Obviously we'd probably recommend you use the Ethernet for the most stable connection. There is another USB socket, the one around the front, you can connect an external hard drive to. So that was a quick overview of Onkyo's TX-NR818. Look out for our full review on whatHiFi.com.